you find yourself looking for a new data position. Maybe you're new to the field, or maybe you've been around for a while and are just looking for a change. But what are the roles that fit into the modern data stack? How should you brand yourself? Let's start closest to the source. Transactional systems will probably have the data layer handled by a full stack software engineer or possibly backend software engineers. I won't go into this area as much since it falls more on the software side than the analytics. Now we'll need our platform to handle all of these analytics. The platform engineer or cloud engineer will be responsible for setting up everything in the platform of choice, configuring the platform for optimal performance and reliability, ensuring security and compliance to privacy regulations and data retention policy. This is much more of an infrastructure and operations role. It's mostly replaced what used to be the database administrator job. For this role, you'll need to enjoy being an expert in all things cloud. Data security, troubleshooting operational issues, infrastructure as code tools like Terraform, disaster recovery plans, and just staying on top of all the newest tools available. Data engineers are closest to the data sources. Their primary role is extract, transform, and load of data. This process can be done in a variety of coding languages, most commonly Python, or it can be an ETL tool with connectors to common sources. The pipelines may include lots of data cleaning and may involve batch loading or streaming. There will likely be many ETL processes making up the pipelines, so they need to have knowledge of orchestrators and patterns. For this role, you'll probably need to enjoy SQL and decoding language, solving a puzzle of knowing when things need to run, lots of logging and monitoring controls, and probably constantly fixing things. Once we have the cleaned data stored, it's time for the analytics engineer. This isn't as common of a title as data engineer, but I'm a fan, so I hope it gets popular. It's really a combination of a variety of titles under the business intelligence umbrella, such as BI developer, BI engineer, data warehouse developer, data modeler. But for one, the business intelligence brand has fallen off in recent years, and more importantly, those terms just aren't very accurate anymore. An analytics engineer is the expert in structuring data for the user's needs. This will include organizing and structuring the data lake in a way that doesn't result in it becoming an unusable mess, knowing what subset of data needs to be moved into the data warehouse, how to model that data in a way that's optimal further down the line, and this will often be numerous different models for a variety of users. The analytics engineer needs to enjoy data. You're gonna need to know the organization's data inside and out, where it's coming from, what it's for, who needs it, how to best deliver that. There will be a lot of coordination with the data engineers so they know what transformations are needed and also coordination with the consumers of the data. And also you'll need to enjoy drawing. You'll be putting a lot of models on whiteboards. Next, we have our first consumer, the tried and true data analyst. This is probably the longest running job title in the data world, and that's because even though skills and tools have changed, they're always essential. An analyst role really comes down to one responsibility, using data to answer questions. Mostly this is going to take the form of dashboards, but it could be more detailed reports and presentations, as well as just getting an email with a question and providing an answer to them. This is an area called descriptive analytics. Basically, use data to explain what has happened. For this role, you should enjoy building dashboards, probably a background in Excel, poking around data to find answers, and being that go-to person. People love good data analysts because they can be relied on when answers are needed. But unfortunately, it's often considered a lower level role than some of the others. Now we need to expand our data platform out a bit, and that's under the ML Ops Engineer, or AI Ops, or Data Ops, depending on your focus. This role handles the operational side of your data science initiatives. Much like the DevOps roles it's based on, ML Ops will focus on automation, scaling, reliability, CICD of machine learning and AI models. And similar to the platform engineer, this role is heavy on the operational side. For this role, you should really enjoy automation, like a lot. The big challenge is getting the data sciencey types to understand the importance of production practices and looking at the full model lifecycle. Our next consumer is the data scientist. This role has been all over the place in the last 10 years, expected to do just about everything. 
But for the sake of better defining our roles, we'll go back towards its early intent. Data scientists have advanced mathematics and statistics knowledge and use that knowledge to figure out how to solve problems. Often this results in developing complex algorithms and models. Data scientists tend to enjoy creative problem solving, research and discovery, and they do some programming, but that's not their primary focus. And next we have the ML engineer or machine learning engineer. This is more of the software engineering side of the ML operation. They'll be taking the discoveries and solutions generated by the data scientists and implementing them into production. They'll be monitoring models and optimizing them over time, and they'll be developing the APIs and connections to the model in order to integrate it into whatever larger ecosystem is needed to meet the needs. Machine learning engineers enjoy the software engineering side of things, but with an expertise in machine learning and data science methods. They'll do significant amounts of programming, following software development life cycles, and working in production environments. And last, we have the data architect. This role oversees the whole data environment, so they need expertise in all aspects of the data ecosystem. They'll mostly be at the high level recommending what platform, tools, and components should be used. They need to stay on top of the industry, knowing what the emerging tech are and how they fit in with everything else. They need to be able to find opportunities but not waste resources into fancy new things that don't provide any real benefit. They might also help make sure the entire program is properly staffed and has all the skills needed. Architects enjoy being less hands-on and focused on the high level. They won't do a lot of engineering day-to-day, -day, though they may work on proof of concepts to try things out and see how they fit. They'll likely spend a lot of time whiteboarding, writing proposals, cost analysis, and collaborating with the data team and business to develop the organizational strategy. So that's my take on a fully staffed modern data team. Of course, this doesn't happen in practice very often. You might have one person doing the data engineering and the data platform, or often the data engineer and analytics engineer are the same role, or maybe somebody's doing all three. Also, you might have one poor soul called a data scientist who's just expected to do everything. But no matter how the team gets staffed, I think it's important to know all the skills and roles that make up a complete data team so we can make sure all of it is covered. How you staff your team will depend on where your analytics platform and capabilities are at, so be sure to watch this video next to help you figure out what level you're at and where you might wanna go next.